Cheat of my cloud. My uh, tennis, uh, the Tennessee game, right? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Y'all don't like that. You know, this, this is uh, my favorite part of these things. Uh, you guys get to, you guys get to sort of make up the discussion now. But kill some fucking time. We're on the spot instead of you, Bruce. Before we get started, uh, the guys got books in the back uh, for sale. Um, they will be signing autographs uh, afterwards if you got something that needs to be autographed. Can I see the jelly like book for his year? Like a book? Yeah. I think that's so fucking cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have. We don't have. To. I know, but we don't. <laughs> Why don't get out? I don't get out much, you know. Get the last half in Niagara Falls. <laughs> Slowly I turn. <laughs> to sign and you forgot it, left it at home, bring it tomorrow night to Moe's Books in Berkeley. The guys will be there at 7 o'clock. And we're trying to get guitars. Or uh, Wednesday. Next two gigs, we're trying to get some guitars. Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. I'm, I'm always, I love to play. Yeah. All right. And well, if you can't see what we can do. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Then we will sign it until you know, right. you guys are gone. Okay? And in fact, we will fucking do anything. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know where it's. We gotta find it. So, uh, but I do want to say thank you to uh, Hemlock and uh, Amoeba that helped us. Thank uh, you for coming out. Amoeba, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Mike in advance for doing anything. And also, um, uh, Maximum Rock and Roll helped uh, make this tour possible. And I want to say thank you to them as well. And Mike is available after to do anything. <laughs> Don't spill your fucking drink all around us. 24 7. Right? Might get electrocuted or some fucking thing. Alright, who's got a question? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. Wait. Mike, why would you do anything? Okay, so what I want to know from Cheeto, what was the one Dead Boys gig that stands out in, in your mind out of all the gigs that you did? It's like... The one he forgot. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a tough one. Um, probably, probably believe it or not, the first one was CBGB's because that was when instead of it was on the old stage, and the old stage was only about six inches off the floor, you know. And uh, I had my little hat to X Sound City, and Stiv decided he was going to be cool, and he jumped up to land on my amp, and he did in a roll right off the freaking stage with him on. <laughs> 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 and uh, and I just, I just sat down and went, you know, <laughs> um, that was probably the one I would remember. Stiv was the greatest. Stiv was the greatest front man I ever seen. And I mean, I seen Jagger and Iggy, and uh, he was incredible. He was on top of Cheetah's Marshall stacks, and I seen him, I seen him cut his chest with a switchblade knife, and then pour wax into it. Uh, so he ate bologna with a booger in it? He ate bologna with a booger, he blew his nose in bologna, and then ate it, because there wasn't no fucking mustard. And, uh, he was an incredible, an incredible guy. <laughs> Can I ask one more Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, I was in Paris when um, Stiv died. And what I'm wondering is, I, you know, what, what I heard was he was hit by a vehicle. I don't know whether it was a bus or a cab. And then I heard various stories. You know, one was he went to the hospital. They wouldn't take him, so he went home. Do you know what the real... He got hit by the car and he refused medical treatment at the scene he went home and uh, he kept going in and out of consciousness 
and his wife actually called the uh, paramedics again because uh, she couldn't wake him up. And of course, as soon as they got there, he got up and you know chased them off and you know cussed them out and all that. And then went back, you know, back to sleep. And then the, the third time she noticed he wasn't right, he wasn't right. He was dead. He hit his head right on the concrete. He, 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 he got knocked over. He hit his head on the other ground. That's it's really common. They have a concussion. They tell you not to sleep. Not to sleep. And he instead, of that. course, you know, slept. How about another one? Right there. Yeah. I have a question for Cheetah. I really appreciated in your book when you wrote in the beginning that you just, this is how you remember it. May it not be true, might be true. And I was wondering after the book came out, if anyone pointed out something that you really got wrong. You know, no, the, uh, the only person I've actually heard any, uh, feedback on things like that back was from James Slyman, who was our road manager back then. And, uh, you know, no, but he, he talked to Anastasia, you know, she was uh, at Pantios, and uh, he would, she told me, well, he would, you know, be you know, one of the he was this way, but she said it was really minute stuff. You know, for the most James part. the one you hammered or, or in your story you just read about uh, Miami, right? Am I wrong? I not only hammered him in that story, Mike, I made that guy's life hell. <laughs> okay. But, but yeah, he um for the most part, no, I, I haven't got one where anybody said, you know, that wasn't the way it went down, you know. It's not like it was please kill me, please kill me, there was plenty of that, you know. I, you know, I, I try to be as honest as I could. I really did try to be as honest as I could. That's the thing. I mean, with a lot of those people, when you tell the story, as long as you play it straight, don't blow it up. They're cool. Iggy's cool with the stuff you said, right? I mean, I don't know. I haven't talked to him, but no. You know. Oh, well, I know the other guys in the studios I talked yeah. to, and they haven't said anything about, like, oh, you, you know, you know, yeah. yeah. But I mean, uh, Scotty Ashton and James Williamson, uh, both of them, I'm in touch with, uh, haven't said anything. You bastard, you lied about Iggy, you know? None of that. How about another? Hey, I got the question. There you go.